Phil. <laughs> Phil. Hmm? Huh? Cover Andor. Yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Nerd Card. I'm Phil. I'm Chuck. And you may be wondering why two Star Wars fans like ourselves are not covering Andor. We talk about it incessantly and have covered the Book of Boba Fett and we've covered, did our big four for the fourth for you guys who've been around with us for a while. Right, we did Obi-Wan. We did Obi-Wan. We yeah. did talks about Grogu, what's next for Star Wars. We're going to cover the Mandalorian season three. I have Star so, Wars tattoos. Yeah. I mean, seriously, like... Why are we not covering this episodically? Well, let me tell you. I'm bored out of my skull. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I just am. It was up to me. I watched the first three episodes, fell asleep midway through episode two, barely finished three, and I just couldn't get into it. Well, uh, you know, it is not. Don't take all the blame. It's not just you. We, we thank Phil, you for Phil, that. <laughs> Phil, Phil would have done it if I would have insisted, but I didn't insist. It's for true. The simple fact of, I like the show, but it's very slow. Yeah. It's super slow. And and the issue that we had, we actually went so far, as we filmed episodes one through three as one big episode. We did. Is we have it. We filmed it. Probably never see the light of day. You never know, because we might do a series, a season recap. We, we don't know. We'll see how the next six episodes go. The bigger, the bigger problem is for me, and I'm going to say this knowing that I'm probably going to piss off some Star Wars fans, because I know there are... You know, the Star Wars... Hot take. The, well, that's fine. But the Star <laughs> Wars fan base sometimes boils, up, boils down to a couple groups. And one of them... Sure. One of the groups are the, the, the folks who like the Rogue One story is the better best story Star Wars ever had and it's edgy and it's different and it doesn't talk about force users yeah. and it's got this and that and it's darker and it looks more like a real you know a movie and real sci-fi yeah you know I, and look it's a good movie well my point I'm getting to yeah. is, is what what Rogue One lacks and I love Rogue One the movie I loved it yeah okay but Rogue One also had Darth Vader in it Yep. Also had Princess Leia at the end. Sure did. They did all the things, those things well together. In this show so far, Andor, the problem is, I just said it, Andor. Andor. He's not a likable character. Cassian, not to me. No, Cassian Andor is Han Solo, but without the charm. No charisma. He's A lot of the problem, in, in my opinion, is he went through his character arc within Rogue One. Yeah. So we're seeing him before that. Before he, before he changed. When we didn't like him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so it's, it's hard for me for you to be successful in a story where the main character is so hard to really feel for. This is the guy? Yeah. Come on. But this is also, guys, why we're not covering this episodically, because you know us. We don't want to be the guys that just piss and moan about a show. Exactly right. We don't. And in fact, as I'm saying this now, I've probably cut some of what we set out. Because we don't I would imagine to, so. We don't need to, to sit and, and be, be berate a show. No, um, we that's don't. not what we do. Well, I'll tell you this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it I looks mean, beautiful. The, the, the cinematography it's is phenomenal. Is great. It's phenomenal. It looks beautiful. It's acted well. And, and we'll see if they take advantage of some of the things they could take advantage of during this time frame. My fear is that they won't, and I don't think that they will. Yeah. But they really should have Ahsoka Tano in this series. 100%. Ahsoka Tano was Fulcrum. And if you guys have watched Rebels... Okay, she was the very first big spy the Unified Rebel Alliance had was Fulcrum. Yeah. And that's Ahsoka Tano. She should 100% be in this series. I don't series. think they'll do it. Yeah. They should have Darth Vader in this show. He's yeah. around. The Emperor. The Emperor. Should be involved in right? this. They showed the yeah. Imperial Senate already with Mon Mothma in the Senate chambers. The, the fact of the matter is, is they should have all these characters that I think they're going to intentionally stick away from to satisfy that offshoot that the Rogue One fan base sees as, as, as this- The best Star Wars ever. As, and, and I yeah. kind of wish they wouldn't do that. And it's hard for me to get into, and we don't want to bring you something that we're not happy about. I, we, we, we're not here to bash. Yeah, I'm not unhappy yeah. about it. I, again, I'll say, I like the show. It's slow. I'm going to watch it. I'm just, you know. And I don't love Cassie and Andor. I, that's it. All right. I think that's it. Chuck, you got anything it. else? No. Sorry, guys. Just not something we want to cover right now. Either way, that could change. 
We might do a series, a season ending recap. We'll see. We'll see you how never we feel. Know. We'll see what happens over the next few episodes. We'll continue too. watching it. We'll see how we feel about it. We'll go from there. In the meantime, I would like to remind you to check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that good we stuff. Are we are out there. Remember, likes are free like this video it doesn't cost you a penny you can join us in the comments tell, tell us, us we're wrong yeah, what do you think about please Andor? yeah by all means tell us we are wrong and we're just completely missing the mark or tell us Could you be. agree with us that's great too either way either way and make sure you share us with all your nerd friends so they can join in the party as well with that we will say what's, what's on, on your, your nerd, nerd card, card?